Hi everyone. Well, this uh, part of the tutorial is actually a follow-up what we learned in the last uh, tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned how to make a master page and how to use a master page to incorporate page numbers. As you can see here, I, I incorporated this logo and incorporated this uh, page number in the last tutorial. So this on the left hand side is common across all pages, only on the left hand side. Yeah. Now, if I want to look into any other page, wherever on the left hand side, I can see it is present here with the page number. If it is 04, it is 04 here. But I can't do anything with it because it's locked. The only way I can change it or move it is, is by going to the main page again and doing the change. But what if I wanted to not have this logo in this particular page or I didn't want to have this page number only on this particular page. How to override? Here is a shortcut to, to override anything that you is already there because of the because of a master page is by pressing control and shift and clicking. This will activate this object which is actually coming from the master page and you can always delete it. Using the same way I can click on this logo also and I can delete it. Like using the same way I can control and I can click on this line and I can remove it. So by this way, I can work with the master page much better because I am only taking things which I want from the master page. Now, how do you know that it is taking the master page? As I told you before, you will see an A sign. This A sign is telling you that all this is coming from the master page. I told you also in the last lecture how to make a multiple mama master page for example if you want to have a master page where you want to have some other design suppose you have one section where all the right hand side pages have a certain a color background for example for example in our magazine suppose if we go control control zero will actually put the whole display and we can see the whole spread in our magazines the third page and maybe yeah the seventh page have you know the same kind of a white background with images like this okay say for example we wanted to have one this middle column to be in a particular color in all these pages so let me create a new master i can go with the prefix b and let me call it middle column color okay i will talk about this based on master later but let me go with uh, the number of pages two pages so i have, have i have a new brand new master page okay now in this master page you guys you can see the two columns so let me change it to three columns i can go to layout margin columns and i can increase the column so it will become three as you can see only in this right hand side page okay and say for example i would like to create a color background for the middle one I can go to a color and I can say yellow or I can yellow I don't really like I'll go with this color and let me also work with a tint maybe I'll have 13% tint okay now this is a brand new master page and it's a new thing that I have done in the master page now I, I want to incorporate this particular page in page number three and seven how can I do that one way is that when you click on the third page okay you can alt click and bingo the change happens another way is you can click and you can drag now as you can see clearly that this is a and this is b so since this is b also if i go to it i can see that the middle column is colored with a particular color tone i selected now that's a great way to quickly make changes across pages and you make sure that you have multiple master pages and you're incorporating certain elements from this master pages to the selected pages now what if i have 10 sections and i want to make one change in all those 10 sections now that would be quite a task right which means that you have to go to each section and you suppose you have 10 sections so you have 10 master pages all 10 sections are having different kind of formatting based on those 10 master pages. Now, how do you do all that? Because you have to go to 10 times to those master pages and make that change, common change across all the sections. So that is why when you create a master page, you can actually base it on 
any of the master pages available to you which means that a new master page is based on a master page which is a or b okay so if you make change in a it will reflect in all the pages from where you have based your master on okay now that's a pretty easy way to actually incorporate a single change to all the pages okay now that that basically sums up our whole understanding of master pages in the next tutorial i will actually talk about text and how you can work with text now that is the most primary and the most important thing that you need to learn when you work in in design because that is where all the controls are and after text we'll get into graphics